educating investors. This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN, 2 p.m. Eastern Time on Tuesday. Two hours left to go in the trading day, and we got markets bouncing from session lows just made. Uh, about 20 minutes ago, 39.64, and the S&Ps were trading right now at 39.80, still down 51 points or 1.3% in the red. NASDAQ 100, you're 1.5% in the red today. You did get a bounce early in the session, as in you came into the opening bell in positive territory, almost across the board, but man, they give it up quick. 9.30, you're trading at 12,600, almost, and you trade down to 12,250. We just were at that price level in the last 15 minutes. Dow, negative 360 points right now. Bitcoin trading lower as well, negative by 500 bucks on the dot. How about the volatility in crude, man? Crude from 97.66, down almost $6. Yeah, more than $6, is that right? Excuse me, more than $7. Tough to really do the numbers when you got that much volatility. From 97.66 to 90.54, we've bounced a bit since the lows made at 12.20. These are five minute bars we're looking at. We jumped to natural gas, sitting at about 9.10. Gold contract trading lower as well, off about $14 at night, 17.35 for gold. And we jump over to notes and bonds, and there's some volatility for you, man. You spiked down to 116.24. Now, jumping over, that's talking about a yield right now of 3.12%. We were floating near almost 3.15%. Early this morning, we were at 117.16. You trade down to 116.24. We've bounced about eight ticks since then at 117. We jump over to the VIX. Volatility index today, 2708. You take a look at the VIX on a daily basis. All we've done is kind of engulfed the prior day's bar. We're sitting at $27, and you see the recent highs this year. We still got some ways to go, potentially 35, 64, and 37. The highs in the VIX, quite a market, and you're coming right into 50% of the entire trading range in higher. Stay tuned, folks. We got my dad, Tom O'Brien. He's back live at 3 p.m. Eastern time. We got about uh, SPs, negative 55 points. We'll be right back, folks. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can